AMOLED burn-in, burn-in on advanced OLED OLED phones does occur. This is my Samsung Galaxy Note 8 phone. It is about a year and four months old and it is already experiencing burn-in. Now to check burn-in, one thing you can do is just find an app that is a screen test app and the one I found was called Screen Test. Looks like that. You just load it and it will come up with a number of patterns when you tap on your screen. It will switch between the patterns and then you'll be able to see if you have any burn in. Now on this white pattern I can see that I have an icon that's burned in there. I can see some other icons. They're going to appear very faint to your video but as we scroll through, you might start to see, like right here, there's that one burn in. You can see the other icons kind of burned in. On the red, can't really see very much. On the yellow, you'll start to see there's burned in images. And these are all from the icons that are on the main screen when you open up the app. So the green, this one's a little difficult for the camera to see, so I'll see if I can adjust the camera. And when I adjust the camera, you still can't see it very much, but it is there. The burn-in is showing up a little bit. Okay, let's go to the blue. And so on the blue, you can see quite a bit of burn-in. In fact, you can actually read almost read the icons. Same thing in the purple. And let's go back to the blue for a moment. So here in the light blue and now to the dark blue and again it's going to depend on the exposure of the camera that you're using or your eyeballs of course and the lighting but you should be able to start see burn in, especially if you use your phone quite a bit. So suggestions on how to avoid burn in. My first suggestion would be make sure that your screen is on its home page as little as possible. So if you have one home page that you normally use, try to minimize that, um, how much that is on. So one thing you can do is you can go into your settings and when you go to display, find the one that has your time off and make sure you have that set to the shortest time off you can. So 30 seconds, for example. Another thing you can do is with your screen brightness, make sure your screen brightness is, you know, as low as you can go, but still being comfortable to look at. And the next one is Sometimes if you don't have a lock on your phone, then the phone will come on during its time in your pocket or other places. So make sure that you've got a lock screen of some type set, not just a swipe, but a pattern or something. And the reason for that is if it turns on in your pocket or something, then it's going to be on during that time and it's going to put more time on those pixels and it's going to start burning in those pixels. So um, that was kind of interesting before the camera auto uh, exposure went on. You could see those icons really well. So there they are. And so this is on the blue screen and I have to be careful not to touch this. But you can see even right there is the chrome icon. You can kind of identify it. And this is all burned into the blue pixels on the AMOLED screen. So this would probably apply to any um, Samsung phone that has an AMOLED display. So that would be like the Note 7, the Note 8, the Note 6, the Note 9, all the, the um, ones that don't have the S Pens. It would also apply to the iPhones that have the AMOLED displays which actually are made by Samsung. So um, Go ahead and open up that app, find that app, take a look, and if you see something, please let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to know if that's just my device 
that's experiencing this or if a lot of people are having the same experience with their AMOLED displays on their phones.